Hello again, welcome back. This is part two. I really have everything done for you on the board, but let's see how you did if you tried it by yourself, okay? So, we had this um, eight kilogram mass, M1, being pulled up a ramp by M2. There's a lot here, so let me try to pull this apart little by little here. What I want to do is that's what I want to find. I want to find the tension in the cord. I want to find the tension, which is going to be opposite this weight, 160 newtons. 160 newtons is from 16 kilograms times 10 meters per second squared. All right, so 160. Okay, now, right. I know that the system accelerated 4 meters per second. It accelerated 4 meters per second. Now, so that's what this block is accelerating. Now, if I take a weight and I put it in my hand, let's say that's 10 pounds, and I go like this, I accelerate my hand down, I know that that's going to feel lighter based on I'm accelerating my hand down going to feel lighter. Well, that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm going to accelerate this. I know that my, I'm going to accelerate it at four meters per second, okay? That's the, that's the acceleration of the system. That's M2. I know that F net is MA. I know that my F net is positive, and that's going to be 16 kilograms times four meters per second squared. 64, positive 64 newtons is my, is my F net of that weight accelerating downward. Now, I know that the F net of M2 is going to equal my, my FW2, which is the weight of that, 160 newtons, plus the tension, which is negative, contrary, okay? So I solve for FT, and I come up with negative 96, okay? That's going to be my tension. It's going to be my tension. It's not going to be 160 newtons. It's going to be 96 newtons. It's going to be a lot less, okay? Because, again, this is accelerating down. So this is going to be less, it's going to be less, okay? So, part two is the tension in the string, Ft, which will be negative, will be negative 96 newtons, okay? Difficult, I know. So look it over. If you have any questions tomorrow in class, I'll answer them. But please look over part one and part two carefully. Tell me what you think. If you're having no problem with it, let me know that. If it is horrific, tell me that too. But if you find it horrific and you're not sure why, try and formulate some specific questions that will help you actually understand it. So when you ask me something specific and I tell you, you will more readily understand the problem. Be careful out there. Have a great day and good night.